Today, I'm gonna to show y'all how to boil your eggs to make deviled eggs so that they peel every time. Devil. It's a deviled egg. Collard Valley Cooks and today I'm going to show you how to boil an egg, an easy peel egg, and make some good old deviled eggs. There's so many tricks to the trade, so many videos, so many people have all these different ways to do it, but I promise you if you do it this way you won't be disappointed. You're going to start with boiling water. Does your eggs have to be at room temperature? No, they don't have to be. You're gonna put them down in the water with a spoon gently. I'm gonna show you how to do six at eggs at a time because that's what my recipe calls for. Now, these eggs have been out at room temperature for about an hour. So it does help just to sit them out for about an hour, but they don't have to be completely room temperature. And if you buy good eggs with good shells, the kind that you can't see through, you can put them in there right out of the refrigerator. It's not gonna hurt them. Now you're gonna place your eggs in your boiling water and you're not gonna set your timer until the water begins to boil all over again. So you need to wait on it. Don't just throw those in there, set the timer or your yolk won't get done. This recipe is in our volume one cookbook under appetizers and salads. Typically, I just use sweet relish, uh, but Amy's got a friend living with us and she likes dill. So I'm gonna make a tiny little bit for her with dill. And then I've got some smoked paprika that I'm gonna use. But here's our eggs and they've been sitting here. I'm going to run a little bit of cold water over them. I always drain them and fill it with cold. And again, we're just going to crack them and peel them. I'm going to put the yellow in here because I'm going to mix my yellow up in here and then we'll put the egg on this side. But I'm gonna... Now my recipe is for, my mama always used sweet pickles. And if your family likes more of a, you know, not a sweet flavor, then use dill pickles. Some people even rev it up and use jalapenos. You use what you like. But this is how we grew up eating them. Down here in Northwest Georgia. Uh oh. I'm talking to mess that one up. them open just because it puts a tiny bit of a look on the egg white but you can see how pretty they look it just makes a few ripples on it and I think it's pretty so you're just gonna pop out the yolk now if you let your egg sit there too long they're gonna start turning dark around the outside and um, I had went in there to answer the phone. So they sat here about 10 minutes instead of five minutes, okay? So you gotta be careful doing that. If your crew's like mine, they really don't care, but some people are picky about it.
And if you're making them special for somebody, you can actually dip them back in the water and clean off the edges to make them really pretty if you want to. If you get egg on them. Yolk. Okay. All right, let me show you what I put in mine. I put in a couple of tablespoons of mayonnaise. We use blue plate. Mama always did. That's what I use. I put in a quarter teaspoon of pepper. You don't have to put in salt because the mayonnaise is already salty. I like to put in about a half teaspoon of mustard. And then I just take a knife, not a knife, Lord have mercy, a nice fork and I smash it. And now I don't use my blending fork for this one because I want them to be uh, smashed in small pieces. More blended. Okay. So smash every one of them. I like to use pie plates for a lot of stuff. Just smash all the yolks. It's fine. And then we're going to start mixing it together. Now once we add the pickles, it's going to add a little moisture. And it's going to add the vinegar because it's in the pickle juice. Okay. So, because I am making just a couple for Amy's buddy, I'm going to take those out and put them in something else. And now I'll go ahead and add our pickles. Now I use relish because it's little and I can get it through my tip because I like to squeeze mine uh, through a tip and then I usually um, you can add a dash of sugar to them. Mama always did. So let me get me a, lot, a little dash of sugar. Just a dash. See, once you add that pickle juice in there, then they start getting soft. And prettier. If you want them to be even more creamy, you can always add just a tiny bit more mayonnaise. Just kind of add it a little bit extra um, if you need to because everybody's eggs are a little different. The yolks are a little bit different. Sometimes you get more yolk and sometimes you don't. So uh, remember that when you're cooking. Just because I say two tablespoons don't mean you can't add just a, a hint more, okay? Now let's mix up cashews over here with a little bit of dill. A little bit of juice, dill juice. If you grew up in a family and they raised you on sweet pickles, you sure don't want dill pickles. If they raised you on dill pickles, you don't want sweet pickles. So I respect the fact that she likes what her mama made. And I'm making one just for her, because I like that. So there's Keisha's egg mixture. And now I'm gonna take this and place it in a bag. I've already made up a bag. Of course, you do not have to pipe your eggs like I do. I just like to do it. If you don't wanna pipe them, just put, them, put it in there with a spoon. But if you pipe them, make sure that you're using a big tip that has a large end so that your pickles will come through it. All 
All right, this is Keisha's. And if you don't want to add more mayonnaise and you still want it to be a little creamy, just add a little, little bit of water. It'll creamy, make it creamy. All right, so we're gonna sprinkle these with some smoked paprika. Mama never used smoke, but me and Chris discovered it because a friend sent us some, and we love it. Yummy. Quick and easy to peel eggs, deviled eggs, Mama's way. With a little touch for t from Tammy and Chris. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. Mmm. Mmm. I love that smoked paprika. Woo! Thanks for watching Colored Valley Cooks, where we cook like Mama did.